what's up guys i'm lan here welcome back to a new video on my channel so in this video i'm going to talk about ios 15.5 rc update on my iphone 10r so as you can see this is an iphone 10r and yesterday night i have received ios 15.5 release candidate or rc so as you can see from the screenshot this update came in about 5.4 gigabyte which obviously was a large install for me and if you have any other device probably it would come around the similar size between 4 to 5 gigabytes so if you are having a device which has a beta profile installed then definitely go ahead and check the software updates you would have got ios 15.5 rc update by now so in this video we're going to talk about what are the new features and possibly when you can expect ios 15.5 public release on your iphone so without further ado let's get right into the video but before that if you're new here and happen to enjoy this kind of videos on my channel do give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel now with that being said let's get right into the video all right guys so the first things first let me go to the settings and let me go to the general and about section so as you can see if i tap on the about section and software version says ios 15.5 and the new build number is 19f77 so that's the final build number which would be released for public as well possibly by next week if apple doesn't find any major issues with this update now talking about the modem firmware update so with ios 15.5 rc there is no new modem firmware update so whatever modem firmware update was there with the previous beta so same modem firmware version was there in this update as well now i had taken a screenshot let's see whether i could actually find it so as you can see before updating you know the modem firmware was 4.0.4.02 and after updating it is the same and talking about the available space before updating it was 22.77 gb and after updating it has sort of increased i would say 23.45 gb now one thing you would notice that previously that feedback option was there and you know sitting on my home screen that is gone because whenever you are updating from a beta version to a public version like rc or release candidate or rc2 feedback option will be gone so that means this version could be released to the public next week now let's talk about what's new with this update so all the videos that i made about ios 15.5 beta 1 2 3 so all these features are included with ios 15.5 rc now let's take a look at the screenshot one more time so as you can see it says ios 15.5 includes enhancement to apple cash card and apple podcast and other features and bug fixes so the most improved thing what apple has tried to improve is with the apple wallet so instead of using apple pay cash now it only says apple cash and also with this update they have included many new features which are not for you and me which are for developers to implement in the operating system as well so one major change i was able to notice in the weather application so as you can see if you tap on the weather application it obviously this symbol says that i am currently staying in this city now if you go down as you can see previously this report and issue option was there but it was just a uh, you know column but right now it gives you a proper box if you click on see more if that data what is displaying if you think that is inaccurate you can actually report it correctly so there's a little change in the weather application once this rolls out for the public you would be of course able to see it now talking about one more change is there like you know there's a change in the podcast application now you can download your latest podcast application and you know for 5 10 and last 30 episodes probably so minor changes here and there apart from that there were no changes that i was able to find and it would be probably wrong to you know expect more new features because next month we are going to see ios 16 beta 1 so at this point of time it's actually wrong to expect any new features with ios 15 so with the help of this video i just wanted to say i have received ios 15.5 rc also for your reference i have ran the geekbench 5 so with the help of geekbench 5 i always try to say that it is not a reflection of the real world performance what you exactly get with the phones but then again for your reference single core score is 1111 and multi-core score is 2751 let me know if you have updated to ios 15.5 rc and what are your scores if you use geekbench 5 
now many people are also you know inclined towards the battery life and also pretty much concerned about whether the battery health would be degraded so let's have a look at that if i click on the battery and battery health as you can see still after updating to ios 15.5 rc there is no change in the battery health at least for my iphone 10r so it is at 89 percent and if you follow me that you know i have been using this iphone 10r for almost now three years and still the battery health is 89 percent so guys it of course depends how you use your phone and how exactly is your battery health usage and not to say that it also supports peak performance capability and talking about the battery life as you can see it's pretty early to talk about the battery life but still you can see this is not my primary phone but you know this the applications that i use on this phone and the screen on and screen off time are in front of you so probably by next week apple will release ios 15.5 for public if apple doesn't find any major issues and if apple does then they will release probably ios 15.5 rc2 and it will take one more week for all of you to get iOS 15.5. So then again, with the help of this video, I just wanted to let you know, if you are using iOS 15 beta profiles, then definitely you should go and check for software updates and you should definitely, you know, update your device to iOS 15.5 RC. Now keep in mind that if you do not have beta profile installed, don't, you know, comment in the comment section below. I'm not able to get the update. I don't see any update comments like that because it is pretty obvious that iOS 15.5 is not yet released for public. It is only released for the developers and beta profile. So if you only have a beta profile, you would be able to see that. So then again, I hope this was it for this video. I just wanted to let you know that I have received iOS 15.5 update. So if you have a device, then do definitely update to iOS 15.5. Let me know how is it going for you in the comment section below and I will see you on my next video. Bye-bye.